Well, <laughs> welcome YouTubers. I'm about to tie a uh, seal bugger jig jigged leech. How's that for a mouthful? So I've got a, uh, this is a size 8 hook and uh, it's barbless and I have a uh, 530 seconds. That's a modeled slotted tungsten bead. MSTB and it's red and I've got some olive thread and I've got my uh, that's 1.015 lead wire and the, the, the key reason I've got that in there is just to come on help me help me do what I wanted to do I want to keep my bead where it's supposed to be but I, I could have had my uh, turns out I could have had my wire pushed up in there a little bit further um, so this fly is going to be tied. This is, um, this is in honor of the seal bugger. I'm going to use this, um, fine, uh, the barred marabou. It's pretty cool stuff. Got little barrings on it. Do you have to tie your fly with this? No, of course you don't. We're looking for, um, we're, we're looking for a little marabou-ish tail. I could actually use some of the dubbing material for a tail, but I'm not going to because I like, I like to use marabou. Now, some people when they tie these, they say they want the marabou to be long, so it uh, it wiggles more. I'm kind of a in between, not too long, not too short. Um, this is a, a very, now where would you use that? That's too long, come on. Let's shorten up here, let's try, let's take a look at this now. Yeah, I like that. I'm not being scientific about this, uh, but that, th so that's a little bit longer than the body length. But th the fact is you could certainly adjust this to your, uh, your style, your preferences. Um, what I'm going to do is show you here, uh, I have been using uh, lately, I've been using this is a uh, Spirit River UV2 Seal X. And it comes in some pretty cool colors. This is a Fire Tiger. This is a couple of light olive, dark olive. Um, I'm going to use the, the kind of a medium olive. Turns out, uh, for, for now this is a size 8 uh, jig hook. Uh, the fibers, I think the fibers are about right if you're tying size sixes, bigger. Uh, when I'm tying eights and tens, I like to chop my, um, I'll chop the dubbing. Uh, because I, I think it, uh, I think it just is better when the fibers aren't, the dubbing fibers aren't super long. I think when they get too long, um, well, what's the problem? Uh, too shaggy. The nymph is too shaggy, maybe? It doesn't look right to me if, if they're too long. So i got a dubbing twirler around. I've got half a dozen of them, probably. Um, we all have our favorite tools, and you know, boy, I tell you what, I've seen some, I've listened to some people tying flies on YouTube and say, yeah, this pair of scissors, I've had it for 20 years, or, wow, people save stuff longer than I do. Um, so I did a, uh, I used a dubbing loop. Forgive me, I do ramble a little bit. You could finger dub. Now this isn't seal, this is seal X. This is a synthetic. 
And I do get a little bit irritated at times when people are tying flies on YouTube using seal fur because I can't get any. I used to tie with it back in the 60s. So I always want to know what can I get that's going to work. And this Seal X does a nice job. It does a really nice job. There's probably other products that do as well. So I wrapped around my thread a couple times uh, just to try, try to keep it secured. And I'm going to do two whip finishes. And uh, so I've got, I've got this mottled red bead because I want this to be kind of natural on the natural side of things. But you could tie this with, as you know, bright beads. I know the fish eat this one. Now, I don't really, I think this is, with this seal dubbing, it's plenty buggy, right, the way it is. But I'm just going to, I'm going to uh, fluff it up a little bit here, just to show you that it can be done. So I think this is a really nice, uh, Could you could tie these things bigger. You don't have to tie them on a jig hook. But this is, um, this is a fly I could fish in rivers and in lakes, ponds. Estuaries, fish that for sea runs, for goodness sakes. Uh, it's just a buggy little fly.